What is a nightmare story that I've had? So I was hired to represent a group of investors to sell a four bedroom duplex and the market just wasn't having it. So we switched the sale into a rental and immediately just like that, we got a family to take over the rental. With that, we had two days to get the current tenants out and to get the new tenants in. The old tenants were a group of guys that were awesome. They paid on time all the time. They were personable. They were a pleasure to work with. They were helpful for me when I was trying to show the unit. Couldn't complain about them. They did, however, like to hang art and they liked to hang a lot of it, which meant there was a lot of pinholes and nail holes throughout the place. So we hire a painter to come in and do what we like to call paint to clean, which is pretty much touching up places with paint so it'll match congruently the whole way throughout. So a day into doing this, we get a call from the painter saying that the paint that is now up and has dried does not match with the prior paint that was there. So basically we have a unit that is two different coats of paint. After buying gallons and gallons of it in all the supplies and products he needed we find out that this paint isn't working and we have one day to fix this the painter was a boss he said no problem i'll go pick up more paint to match and repaint the place and pull another all-nighter to get it done he gets there and finds out that the reason the paint didn't match was because the machine that mixes the paint colors had messed up at this point it doesn't even matter whose problem it is. We have one painter that has to hire another guy to help paint the whole entire place again the full way throughout so it'll match now to go along with this the new renters agent wouldn't stop bugging me about ticky tack little annoying things like does the microwave get warm enough? I don't know, it gets radiation hot or are they gonna get a full set of keys? No, I thought I'd just give them a front door key but no gate key and make it interesting for them to come home all the time. This turned into a nightmare situation when the painter had to hire a, another painter to help him paint the same place two nights in a row thousands of dollars being spent, a ton of stress, a lot of times, a lot of trips back and forth to the hardware store and back to the home. And one day to do all this with a new family and a new baby moving in. It, we made it by the skin of our teeth so close that it was one of those situations where we said, don't touch the walls for a couple hours to a day when you move in. I was so emotionally drained. I passed out like a baby that night.